menstrual cycle, a natural process that happens in the female body. First, let's look at the important parts of the female reproductive system. This is the uterus, where a baby could grow. Below it is the cervix, the opening to the uterus. The cervix leads to the vagina, which is the passageway to the outside of the body. These are the ovaries, which make eggs, and the fallopian tubes carry the eggs to the uterus. The menstrual cycle starts with the follicular phase, beginning around day five. Each ovary contains many tiny bubbles called follicles, and each follicle holds an immature egg. During this phase, one of the follicles starts to grow and mature faster than the others. As the follicle grows, it produces a hormone called estrogen. which helps the uterus lining build up and get ready by adding more blood vessels. Estrogen increases throughout this phase and peaks around day 13. On day 14, ovulation happens. This is when the ovary releases the egg into the fallopian tube. The egg begins its journey through the fallopian tube toward the uterus. The process is helped along by gentle muscle movements and tiny hairs that guide it forward. After the egg leaves, the leftover follicle turns into a structure called the corpus luteum. This produces a hormone called progesterone. If the egg meets a sperm and is fertilized, the corpus luteum keeps making progesterone to help the uterus lining stay thick and healthy. But if the egg isn't fertilized, the corpus luteum breaks down and progesterone levels drop. This signals the body that the thick lining of the uterus isn't needed anymore, so it sheds and leaves the body as menstrual blood. This bleeding, called a period, usually lasts about three to seven days. Then the whole cycle starts over again. Some females have polycystic ovary syndrome, PCOS, a condition where the ovaries develop multiple cysts. To learn more, watch our next video on this topic.